Hi guys, it's 8 30 in the morning. I'm so happy because I mean people sleep, but I don't like sleeping. I like editing. Editing is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah, um I haven't had sleep. Um I'm not gonna turn around and say that this is the hardest and most expensive and biggest project that I've ever done. Because you already know that. It is. But I just want you guys to remember this, okay? Forget whatever fame I have, or whatever money I have, or whatever status I have in the industry. I'm always going to be that guy that goes out of his way to make, with all my energy, with all my power, with all my might, make videos to make you smile. And I really hope you enjoyed this. So if you like the video, make sure you press the like button. If you don't like it, like it anyway, because I've got a house on my head. Look, air conditioning. <laughs> house so tired and um, yeah most importantly the only thing I ask in return is if you can subscribe thank you First things first to the painting stand up. And all the man them hating on my steez go man up. Free my bros in the jailhouse house cannot. Doing moves behind doors and got bang up. Ha. I just wanna make bed dough. Leave me alone. Please don't holler my phone. Right now I'm in my zone. Mashing up shows. I ain't even trying to do road. I just wanna make bed dough. Leave me alone. Please don't holler my phone. Right now I'm in my zone. Mashing up shows. I ain't even trying to do road. Yo, what you saying, smoke salmon? It's smoky. But do you want to die? Oh, one thing, yeah. Can I borrow one pound twenty nine? No. Anyway, look, I've been doing a lot of thinking, yeah. And I realise that the reason why you're probably always moody is because you're always around their mans. Like, all the time. I've never seen you with a girl fam. Not even on a date. So, all I was thinking was, my boy just needs a bit of loving. You know what I'm saying? I don't like where this is going. So, I decided to buy you a present. We're not in a relationship, you know. Why are you buying man a present? Oh, at least say thank you, innit? Where's your morals? I'm a drug dealer. Oh, yeah. Open it, innit? What the hell is this? Well, this is Manor A1 Zarka Black Henna. So what am I supposed to do with this shit? Well, you could give it to a girl, but... We already established we don't really know any fam. Hang on. How much money did you ask me for? One pound twenty nine. What the exact same price as this shit? So you're basically asking me to pay for my own present. Bruv, I assure you that is more than one pound twenty nine. Swear on your life. Bro, it's got the label on it. One pound twenty nine. You couldn't even be bothered to take the label off. But bruv, do you want it or not? No. Disrespect. You're lucky you're in my good books after last night, you know. Can I ask you what you guys did to Evel after I left? No, you can't. All you gotta understand is he's a bad person. He did bad things. And bad things happen to bad people. Whereas you're a good kid, you did good. Did you hurt Evel? Allow it now, innit? I don't wanna hear you mention this guy's name ever again. Anyway, we've got more important things to worry about. Tomorrow's a big day, you know. Every single one of these trap houses is getting robbed. They're getting run up on and getting robbed. And guess what? Ace is organising everything. Yeah? But Ace is going to come collect you today. You guys got to settle a big deal, yeah? You understand me? Don't mess it up. And what about the 20 grand that I owe you? I told you, when the time's right, we sort that out. Yeah? Stupid boy. I'm not stupid, bruv. What? Are you getting brave, fam? 
Talk to me like that again, man. I'll cut your throat. Take your anger out somewhere else, man. Go gym or something. Go boxing. Unless you want to end up like a girl. I nearly lost it, but I controlled myself. Plus, I'm pretty sure Mr. Singh will give me a refund. And if he don't, I'll just beg. But what I didn't know is that in the next two days, everything, and I mean everything, will change. Hey you! Are you going out to black guy? What? No, where did you get that from? Well, I was going through your bag, accidentally, obviously, and I found this! Really? Africa! You're so ridiculous sometimes. Hey, don't call me ridiculous! You are the ridiculous! What does ridiculous mean again? I forgot. Look, I'm only here because mum has to get a few things and she didn't want to be alone. That doesn't even make sense. Why, why, why doesn't she want to be alone? Huh? What am I going to do to her? Hit her? Are you? Yes! You know what? Don't even think about it. This isn't Jellum in 1962, okay? Oh, they were the good old days. <laughs> I remember me and my friends, we used to eat expired melting kulfi outside the very first fake McDonald's in our village. It was called McDonald's. Voila. Uh -huh. Good times, man. Good times. Hey, 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 where are you going? To see your black boyfriend? No! Mum's at the door. I'm gonna go open it. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Look, I know I've been a bit uptight, but you have to understand, you know, this is a... Um, this has been very hard for me. I'm sorry, did you say hard for you? Correct. You're the reason this family split up. Just you. Rebecca's a hoe, you know? Like, she's saying that she likes Jordan, but she's whining with next man in the club, like... Ty. Ty. Ty, you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. You don't look fine. To be honest, you haven't been looking fine for a while. Is there something you want to tell me? Come on, if you can't open up to me, then who can you open Just up to? drop it. I said I'm fine. Ty, I swear down, if there's another girl involved, yes, I swear... there's not another girl, okay? I've done some really bad things. For some really bad people. Like what? That's, that's the problem, I can't... Who is it? Who I am, for. Stop it, let him go. Shut up. Yes. 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 No need for the introductions then. Get me a drink. Excuse me. Gemma, please. Get the man a drink. What do you want from me? Oh, you can't give me a Ferrari or a mansion. Just judging by the way you dress, you ain't got enough P fam. So, I guess I'll just take the lighty. What, 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 what do you mean? Don't worry fam. She's still your wifey. I don't want a wife for her or anything. I'm just gonna take her upstairs for a few hours. One or two. Yeah, she may scream a bit, she may cry out for help, but what you're going to do is ignore that. Because if you don't, I'm going to come back here with a few of my friends, and we're going to be upstairs for more than a few hours with her. Do you get what I mean? Please, look, I'll do anything, just, just, just tell me what you want. is to know, have you done your job? Yeah.
yeah, of course, man. I, I got him, man. And she's in a safe place? Yeah, of course. I got, I got rid of the body. She's gone. And you haven't told anyone, have you? Are you deaf? Tyrone. No, no, I, I didn't. Good. Now, something big is about to pop off. So make sure you answer your phone. TJ, what's going on? Does she know? Do I know what? Here's some friendly advice. Next time we ring, don't ignore our calls. Or I'll come back and I'll stay way longer. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, Slav. You, uh, you look uh, absolutely horrible. You are obviously missing me so much. Now, before you self harm, you know, like cut, 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 you both need to go back home. Where is Hamza? He's still alive, unfortunately, but we can still make dua. Why are you so heartless? Don't you feel anything? I feel hungry. Goodbye. Ugly woman, wait. What do you exactly want from me? I want you to apologize for everything that you've done to allow your son, your son, to come back home. And then maybe I might come back too. Yo, my G. Come here, man. Let's talk. Can you piss off nicely, please? Why are you going to be like that for, bro? Aja Yara. Let's talk. Come here. Aja Yara. Bruv, your boss stole 20 grand off me. And now I'm in debt, yeah, to some guy who calls himself, you know, Vapor, Vape Smoke or Smokey. I don't even know what his name is, fam. I know. That's why I'm not with them no more. What? Yeah. I'm with for K now. What, the Pakistani bodybuilder who's got biceps on his thumb? Yeah, that's the one, man. Listen, I've got to drop this little baby to him. You want to join? Bruv, I'd rather suck your uncle's nipple, fam. There is no chance in hell I am getting in this car with you. Guess what? I'll let you drive the Ferrari. Watch me rolling Punjabi. Sony, Sony, goody, goody. Are you ready for the tricks and see? Sony, Sony, goody, goody. Hey. Hey, please, can you just tell me what's going on? We don't have time for that. Just take this and just go to Chimon's house to you for me, okay? Tyrone, you're scary. Just, just go. Let's go. Um, mm. Yes, TJ. What do you need? Okay, I'm coming. 
Yes, Kay. What's going on? It's Shavs, not Kay. You were supposed to be here 10 minutes ago. Where the hell are you? Where's Kay? He's taking a dump. All right, listen, we're on our way. Listen, bro, you're taking the piss. Yeah? Any scratches on that car, it's coming out your money. All right, I get it. Hurry up. Bruv! We gotta take this car back quickly. Bruv, tell that Sri Lankan bodybuilder to wait, okay? We'll just buy him a protein shake. He'll be big ass. Bruv, you don't get it. Let's just stop playing around and let's take this car back to them. But what are you shouting? Do you know I saw Karate Kid three times? I'm a dangerous guy. Bruv, once, you know what I did? What did you do? Once, yeah, I was like in this alleyway and I know with this elephant come out of nowhere, but I shanked the elephant and it died. And then I found it wasn't even an elephant. It was a dog. Bruv, just start the car. Bruv, let's just go Green Street one more time. Just one more time and then we'll take it back, okay? Trust me, nothing is gonna go wrong. Ooh. Yeah, blowing smoke in her hair. Bad thing on her knees. Now I'm holding up her hair, whoa, whoa, whoa. I lost the band, you can't prepare, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't get saliva on the chair, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. Well, well, look who it is. Here. You, you idiot. You're the one that took the piss and thought you could get away with it. What is he saying, bro? I, I can't hear you, fam. I said, you thought you could take the piss and get away with it. Bro, you sound like Darth Vader doing a 69er. Can you just take that off? What? Just take it off, innit? Not, not, not everything, just the helmet. Oh, look, it's the guy I took the piss out of. <laughs> Slalakam, bro. Prof Sharp! Listen, please. We need to drop this car off urgently. Just let us go. Get out. That's a good film. Now, let me tell you something, my fam. First of all, why are you wearing tight jeans? I don't understand why he's wearing... Like, who made that decision? Did you sit down with your family and like, Family! I'm gonna wear tight jeans and, and jump on the motorcycle! Like, I don't understand that. And second of all, there is no chance in hell that you and your sweaty Persian balls... I'm just guessing as well. It's like an estimate. You know the builder ones? That you are gonna take this car. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now I don't know why, but I feel that Sammy wasn't ecstatic. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. And he said that Kay will kill him. But you know what? It's gonna be alright. It's just a Ferrari. We need to talk. Um, it's uh, something I've got to say to you. Two things, in fact. The first one's um, it's a bit difficult for me to go and say. I guess I've got to it. Thanks, man. Gave you a job. You have my back. You, you did good. Simple. We're family, man. I told you. I mean, me and you've been best friends since primary school days. I mean, you were there when I had my first fight. Was, um, curly haired, you. More than freckles. 
Yeah, man. The guy was scared when he found out you're my best mate, bro. He better start thinking he's, thinking he's cousin. But yeah, Lucy, man. My first love. You fucking bastard, bro. <laughs> True, but I knew it was okay because you'll never cheat on me, bro. Even if you wanted to. Trust man, I want you to remember that. See, that's where that's where we're different. I don't trust anyone. I don't even trust myself. I mean, you're the closest thing I've got to a friend. I don't even trust you. This leads me to, um, to the second thing I wanted to say to you. What's that? Taking a libby, saying I'm washed up, just stupidity. Go against me, facing humility. Heat on the rhythm, you're chasing humidity. I got a high ability, how you gonna belittle me? When you never had a better vibe than a little me. I hate going in, but I'm doing it for the mind. See me as a being, I'm doing it for the time. I don't wanna hear this, that or the third. Cause cause I am the king of grime, let me prove it. So I decided to listen to Spanky and I wanted to take some boxing classes to get some anger out. So I went to TGB. Sounds like a vaccine. Stop moving man, that's me lost. Listen, well done, yeah? Great session. Remember brother, health is wealth. He's a good guy. 
Who are you? Stand up comedy, I like that. Now, obviously, it's bad, man, innit? You heard of me. I probably unrolled in that. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Um, maybe because, like, I don't know, like, because the English is a bit shit, no offense. So maybe you just moved to this country, that's why you don't really know about me. <laughs> I've been living there for 20 years, mate. Oh. Congratulations. Strong visa. But nice gym, by the way. Very nice gym. Kind of smells like a. Pakistani Kabaddi semi-final though, I ain't gonna lie, maybe an air freshener would help. <laughs> Listen, you're wasting my time. What do you want? Oh, alright. Dad. Basically, I want to like learn boxing, okay? Like, I probably want to be serious, you know, like one of those ones where I'm like, sponsored by Puma. You know Anthony Joshua, I want to be on his back. And like, I'll just be like, hey guys, Puma. I don't, I don't know, I didn't really write a script yet. But if I don't make it, then maybe I could just be sponsored by, I don't know, like, my local news agent. I don't really care, I just want the money. I need you to teach me. You know what I'm saying? I want it to be like a, a karate kid thing. You know, you could be Mr. Miyagi, but instead I'll call you Mr. Molby. Because of, of your beard. Is it real? You're not serious. No, I'm serious, man. You're standing in a gym eating chicken and chips. Yeah, but the chicken got protein in it. You want it? I give you it. I'm not gonna lie, I'll do it. Just see as payment for the next Shut up. <sighs> okay, let's go. Let's see what you got. You, do you want it though? No! Hurry up, let's go. Let me finish this though, innit? Don't be rude. Now. Let's go. <laughs> what are you doing? You can probably check. Put the water skipping. Jump! No, with, oh, with, the rope. Rope, with the rope. Skipping in it. You know what they used to call me back in school? Dragon. You know why? I don't know why. Dragon. Dragon. Oh Put the rope down. Put the rope down. Don't be Shut up. Come on. Okay, let's go. Hit me. Hit me. Hit the pad. I've got the pad. Hit the pad. Let me try, let me keep practicing. Come here! Right, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on, you gotta hit harder than that. Look at the size of you, let's go! You wasted my time, let's go! No, not good enough, come on! Think of something that gets you angry, come on! Come on! No, come on. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Come on. I am faster. I'm punching your fat belly, look. Oh. Okay. What do you want? What's happened? You kid, he's lost the Ferrari. You're so stupid. I'm he's telling lost you. Ferrari. He's lost the Ferrari, man. Listen. The furniture. Fuck, do you mean he's lost a Ferrari? It's a hundred bag Ferrari, bruv! You hide this little prick, go get hold of him, bring him down here, I wanna hear from his mouth where the car's gone about he's lost it. It's a car! Stop! Listen, get Sammy down here, otherwise, you know what? If I find him, I'm telling you now, I'm gonna break his legs. Fuck this. Hamza? Where the hell have you been? Have you not my mum, man? What's it to you? I've been worried sick. You didn't come home last night. You're not answering any of my phone calls. Let me guess, you're going out again now? You're yeah, probably clever you are. Yes, you are. Can I ask what for? Me and the boys are just going for an innocent road trip, okay? Slash drug deal. Mm. 
Hamza, please stop this. It's gone too far and you need to get out of this mess before- I can't, okay? It's too late, man. Hamza, it's never too late. Look, I care about you so much. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Have, have you ever felt pain so wriggly that that without it you kind of feel lost? Hamza, please just talk to me. Am I disturbing something? Obviously, the door was open, so I thought I'd. You thought you'd just walk into my bedroom? Yeah. Okay, fair play. Safe, I'm going, yeah? Safe. Wait, 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 wait. Are you gonna introduce me to you? Be a cute friend. A cute friend? What cute? You mean a cute? What, that? That? You think that is nice? Oh, I mean, no, I mean, you're very beautiful, obviously. But yeah, no, this is Anissa. Um, she's been my childhood friend, me, her, and another girl. Uh, yeah, we've been friends since what, like, MSN days? Yeah, MSN was sick. Big girl. Hamza, have you heard from Yasmin? She's still missing. I was thinking I should go to the police. No, I haven't. Gotta go, yeah? Seen you around, cutie. DJ so this guy goes by the name of Towers. Whoa. This guy's a big deal. This geezer's is a big problem. He's big in these streets. How, how many Instagram followers is he? Okay. Shut your black lips. I saw this man fly a plane, a car, and a kite at the same time. What colour was the kite? Red. Blood. Blue. What's his star signal? It's Capri Sun. One time I was just in the woods. Why were you in the woods with him? Do you see this guy a lot? Leave him alone. Shut up! And listen to what I'm telling you. I saw him fight a bear with his bare hands. <sighs> Capri Sun's for you. The point is, this guy is the connect. I've already got a connection on my phone. This geezer is the plug. You need, you need a charger, because mine's on 28% though. Do you know what I like? Bears? No. Being alone in the woods with another man? No. Filipino orphans? No. What? I love money, fam. Do you get what I'm saying? Can I answer? No! I don't want to throw a spanner in the woodworks, but um, I've got something to tell you guys. Um, um, <laughs> so I'm just nervous. Uh, I heard that uh, my uncle, uh, and this is just gossip, but um, my uncle has a, um, he has a shop. Whether it's true or not, you know, only only God knows, but... Shut your face, but When this guy comes in, you that to keep your mouths zipped and let me do the talking. What happens if there's a fire and I, I find out about it first? Then you I burn, can't... fam. Then we all burn. Yo, the connect is massive. Bruv, he looks like a bear. He looks like the bear that he killed? Yeah, but he's still alive. Plot twist. That's the connect. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, hey, Bugsy picking him up first. Hey, he's telling him the... <laughs> Look at this little midget like Kevin Hart's son, son. <laughs> oh my God, it's Kevin Hart's son. <laughs> Doesn't even exist. <laughs> Why you keep nodding your head like, what's wrong with you, man? Do you, do you need a priest? Shut. <laughs> Oh. Yo, Towers, before you came in, I told a joke about a baby midget bear. No, you didn't. But they laughed. It was nothing to do with you, fam. Full on life. Tell them to behave themselves, ain't no joke. Let's just come in and talk business. Sit down, unless you're sitting down already. That would make more sense. Bless for hooking us up, G. Say no more, bro. Towers, bless for coming. No problem, brother. Heard you now. But for real, though, Ty, ask your friend. Do you, do you know what I am? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Why does your chain go down to your belly button? That's not, that's not what's supposed to happen. But do you smuggle drugs in your nappy? You're so small. I think you can dodge, right? You look like little, little Wade. Shut.
up. Yo, Ace, talk to your boys, man. That's way disrespectful. Everyone's on a bit of a hype right now. It's hot in here. Man's not hot. It's room temperature. I just did the ice bucket challenge, so. I'm not even wearing underwear, so I'm all right. Listen, let's just get to the introductions. This is bad, man. <laughs> what's, what's funny? And this is... <coughs> Tell them who I am, Phil. This is... <laughs> who, what? My name's Rebecca. With a K. <laughs> Yo, it could be Rebecca with a C or a Q. It's still a girl's name. Yo, fam, they're disrespecting Lorraine. Who's Lorraine? My dad. Rebecca. Your dad's name's Lorraine. My dad's name's Lorraine with an N. And your mum's name's Mike. That is true. So, I can't defend that. But what I can do is get back down to business. Okay, business. <laughs> Yo, Ace, tell your boy to take his fake shoes off the table. Ace, can you please tell Ice Cube to take his king hat off and his sunglasses off because it's not a robbery? <laughs> Do you want to know what the call me saying? Oh, they should call you Duracell battery. What are you saying, Blair? Say something. You saying Chris Brown? Come, come on, let's go then. I dare you. You're bad, man. Do it again. You need to say something. Calm down. No. No deal. I'm done. Yo, Ace, you need to be careful who you bring to these things. I'll choose them more wisely. I'm gonna call you later, all right? Cool. You. You need to sort out that anger before you end up getting yourself killed. Do you know what I'm saying? Rebecca, you can stop pretending to sleep now. <sighs> Sorry I didn't back you from I was gonna. Uh, and then I didn't. I think it's because I didn't want to. Are you alright, bro? Yeah. Ah, uh, this is because of your cousin, isn't it? What do you mean? I heard some guy roughed him up at his office the other day. Drilled a hole in his hand. You didn't know? No. I'm sure he's alright, bro. I'm sure he's alright. TJ, is he dead? Good. I never really trusted that you anyway. Badman's cousin ain't gonna talk now. Only other problem we've got is Anissa. She was talking about going to the police. But don't worry, she won't be a problem for long. By tonight, V will have all his stuff and me and you will be back on top like the old days. And definitely by tonight, Badman's time will have run out. Anyway, man's got a go in it. Who's that? Oh, no one. Just some dumb girl. Yeah, is everyone lined up ready? These 42 trap houses across London will all be getting hit tonight. All the manor on it. Are you Smokey? Don't worry, fam. Like, we got you in it. You can trust us. Who are you? Furthermore, why are you even talking? I'm your cousin? Further, furthermore, why are you even in the car? Get out. And you as well. You just got in the car, man. But now you just got out. It took me five minutes to get into the car, now, man. Waste, man. Yeah, good, man. So by the end of tonight, I'll have full control again. Blood. You ain't related to this guy. Bro. Yet your brother, yet your niece, or your nephew. Fam, shut up, man. All I know is I did 10 minutes of cardio unnecessarily, blood. Listen, we're only gangster in theory right, right now. There's no yeah. practical smoke blood. Bag, Every time we're about to be on this, you gotta try and make right, family listen, members. Listen, just smoke a cigarette, innit? Yeah. Right, there's none left. Ha <laughs> ha. Fam, listen, stop talking, yeah, and let's just show my man we can guard the car. I've always been about it, but I don't try and make family members the first time meeting man because of the same color. I kill family members. You ain't me. Hey, yo, Smokey, what's good, bro? It's K. Yo, K. Okay. Yeah, all good. Listen, I'm gonna cut to the chase, yeah? Someone's taken one of my cars and he's disappeared. I need you to find him, locate him, and deal with his pussy on. You owe me one. All right, one. So just when I thought that everything was going wrong, not knowing what happened to Evel, 
knowing what happened to Yasmin, owing 20 grand to a drug lord, losing a 100 grand Ferrari and ruining the biggest drug deal ever. I was at boiling point, but then dad called for a family meeting and suddenly, I finally felt alive again. Hello, excuse me. Better stop, don't listen to them, keep going. You're making marks on the bloody table. Better, enough. I want to see where this goes, guys. He's not right. He's not right. You're so talented. Just keep going. Don't stop. If you were doing namaz regularly, this wouldn't be happening right now. Guys, you worry too much. This is great. The knife is being damaged too. That's a lot of money, the knife. Yeah, you can do this. Come on, speed up. But even though I found it. I found the knife. Baskaro. In a park. It was raining. Speed up. Nothing's gonna happen. Trust me. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> You're an idiot. Yes, okay, so uh, before the pizza arrives, I think uh, we all know that uh, you all each owe me £5.25 pence. Because the pizza is £21, no tip obviously, because this is not a charity. <laughs> so, can you give me the money? Yeah, right now. Yes, of course, right now. Ah! Okay, wasn't expecting this. Uh, uh, family dinner. Give me the money. <laughs> give me the oh, you sh Fuck, all right, man. What the bloody hell? Is this real? Of course it is. Oh, okay. It's not real, no. Uh -uh. No, no, no. Let's go. Yes. Yeah. Come on, stop being stingy. Can you speed up, maybe? Come on, you're being so tight. Why is this family so tight, huh? Where do you get it from? There's 25 pence missing. Okay, don't worry. We can, we can sort it out later. Maybe your mother to lend you the 25 pence and you can send transaction. Mm. Okay, I mean, I didn't think my own father would. Ah! Uh, he scratched uh, you as well? Yeah. Look at your nails, bro. Children, your father has brought you here because he needs to tell you something. Why did he dye your hair? You're still butters. Says the guy who looks like Ice Cube from Ravel Bindi. You look like a man who listens to rock music. You look like you inject jojoba oil in your lips. Don't touch me. You look like a Liberian who has a Tinder account. Comes up, what's a Liberian? I, so I think they're from Siberia, I think. That's incorrect. I don't know. Both of you shut up, okay? Now, I need to tell you something. Sure, Buddha, man, we know. Like, obviously, you two are gonna get back together and you're gonna admit that you're wrong, but you're not gonna apologize because Pakistani parents, they don't do that sort of thing. So don't worry about it, man. We know, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, if we're moving back in together, then I want Hamza's room because it's bigger and I'm a girl. Shut your mouth, bro. Shut up. Bro, I would knee you in the rib. We are getting a divorce. Your mother and Noor. Uh, we'll be staying at her uh, at mother's until the divorce is uh, complete. Down in the office if you need me. I feel like I'm about to erupt. 
but I'm still in control. That night I sat on my favourite bench, sitting and visualising my greatest fear. A man. An enemy that has been haunting me for years. He took the one I loved away from me. He took my courage. He took my soul. He took my pride. He took away my smile. And all I can think about is the day I see him again. I will make sure I'll take everything back. Yo. Yo, bad man. What are you saying, smoke alarm? This ain't a joke no more, bro. I think it's time, man, you finally repay me back. And that was the moment he finally told me how I will pay him back. Pay back my debt. The only thing was, what he was asking was beyond anything I could ever have predicted. But if I didn't do it, then he would kill me. Well done, man. Let me know when everything's done, yeah? What the hell are you doing here? How do you even know where I live? Sit down. The dead man is. Last time I checked, I'm the one with the gun. Now sit down. Smoky. What a nice house you have here. Too bad it's not going to be nice for long. You playing dirty now, yeah, cuz? Playing clean, playing dirty. Doesn't matter to me. I play to win. And I always win. <sighs> Smokey, your men, your trap houses, your guns, your girls, they all now belongs to me, all of it, even down to this very moment. Smokey, whether you live or die in this very moment is down to me. Can't do shit to me, cuz. You're clearly delusional. See, Smokey, I warned you. I warned you not to go there. And you went there, so now we are here. See, this is it, Smokey. I won. You lost. I can't be outsmarted, especially not by some hood rat. <sighs> Any last words? See you. You're a piece of shit. Classy. Man, a bad man. Man, a bad man. Man a bad man, 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 man a bad man. What are you saying? Bro. I'm a dead man walking when Kane is boys find me. So I'm gonna stay here till tomorrow. And my cousin's gonna come pick me up, take me up north. I think it's time for a fresh start. What's wrong with you? I'm so sorry, man. I don't want to do this, but I don't have a choice. Smokey said if I kill you, then he will let me live and I won't need to give him the 20k back. It's either me or you, man. Oh. 
Anza, just think about this here. Listen, my cousin's coming tomorrow. We can both go up north. We can have a fresh start together, man. Sorry. Please. Sorry. Sorry. Just think about this, Anza. Think about it, please. The feast, please! Guess we're both dead men walking now. And there it was. I couldn't do it. No matter how dark and how evil and how empty my life has become, somewhere deep down inside, I knew I still had a heart. And no matter how I've spent my life being a bad man, when I look in the mirror, all I really see is a good person. And I wanted to die at least knowing that. Knowing that I did the right thing. But what I didn't know is my story hadn't ended yet. And it was still about to get a whole lot worse. Yo, Smokey. I couldn't do it. This ain't Smokey. It's Ace. Ace? Where's Smokey? Um, he's a bit busy at the moment. V's in charge now. V? You're working for V? Nah, I'm working with TJ. TJ? I don't think Anissa's got time for this. Anissa? The cute little friend. She's about to get some unexpected guests. That was the perfect room. <laughs> Get out! You men go read the fridge or something. We're gonna be a while. I already done it last time. Yo, both of you go, man.
<laughs> I think this is over here. Yeah? TJ's in control now. You, uh, your family, <laughs> dead by the end of the week. <laughs> <laughs> 